uh, to Nation and Group B. And so here we go, it's a north and south battle for... They can prevent the midfielders from supplying the striker, so that would be a, a win for them. Kabachi tries this one from long range and well collected there by the Zambian goalkeeper. Now right there from the Tunisians and not wasting much time in terms of uh, what they want to tell almost everybody here. They made the intentions clear with that effort. Trying to size each other. This is what is actually happening right now. Well, Zambia with the opportunity to move forward now with a chance now to shoot ball sent to the right hand side and now he's been shot feebly. Pretty much poor from Ochamba. There was no power on the shot. Chumbo Seke coming into here comes uh, Mapepe. Support comes through for the captain for the side, Chanda. Let's the ball in. Zambia could have opportunity once again. And they see plenty of the ball from Zulu. That was, that was a good play from them. They actually find the space, use the width, cross the ball perfectly away. Unfortunately, the finish wasn't that good enough. Well, the Kafa Awards will be coming up pretty shortly. And uh, Zambia do have uh, Grace Chanda. And uh, we'll have to find a way to... Field. Somebody have to win it there. And then try to give good pass at the third, third half, which the Zambians are they're not doing right now. Both teams are kind in the, the orange. Unavailable today, as uh, the Zambians have been able to uh, push and allow them to get the opportunity to move in there. And this time, it's going to be a bit scrappy once again in the 80-yard box, expecting some bit of a hit in the uh, trigger. But unfortunately, that's not a story there. Ochumba couldn't sort their feet out. The prolific uh, players on this team. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't go well the way she expected it to go. These things happen in football. It really happen in football, so hopefully she gets... Yeah. Tembo. Chanda. Good play. Good turn again for the Zambians. So what a pass it was. They were well cut out by the left foot back. There's a free kick here. On the right-footed one. It'll be drilled into the far post. And so push the ball down to the right-hand side and looking for space to shoot here from this angle. And this shot certainly is not able to beat the goalkeeper currently in charge, Nali. But the effort will be applauded here for Chanda. Also has the space. Chanda! And again, effort also very feeble to also threaten the goalkeeper. Players against Morocco in a warm-up match in June that ended 1-0. Uh, Scored twice for Chris Chanda. Beautifully. By Arnie. The referee uh, referred to uh, sees a foul there halfway the line. And Kabashi was in press there. She was, she was expecting the referee to allow the game to go on because they actually have good opportunity there to continue. Give a lot of a boss away to the Tunisians who effectively had to leave this ball into the box and looking for some bit of an energy in there to deal with it. Away. Lovely play. And this time it's again shot feebly. Only here. Lifts the ball to the far post again. It's Nali who has to deal with it and she collected beautifully. Positioning was pretty tight for her. She was able to deal with no pressure on the ball as well. Oh, she, she, she looks really composed. She's, like I said earlier, she, she's really composed. Here comes the Chumba. Lovely pass here yeah, to uh, Zimari Mapepe and charging forward. She goes to the ground. It's going to be a penalty for Zambia. It is. It's been given. They tried. They fought. And Dan has been given. Zambia gets a penalty. Rania Una. Zambia the penalty. The fans here who are supporting Zambia are excited. And what I tell you about the speed of uh, Zimara Mapepe. In the moment she came out, yeah. yes. That, that is what you want to see like in the, in the team. The Zambia, the women's team, they are very, they're, they're very straightforward. I'm sure they missed her in the first game, and this is what she brought to the team. That this one um, will be able to give them the edge of the Tunisians. Chumba goes in, and this time Chumba, and she plus wide. Would you believe this? We had chance for the Copper Queens, and Chumba just amazingly plus it wide over the roof there, and so the scoreline still remains Zambia nil, Tunisia nil. What a miss. They have to they have to lean. She has to lean on the ball. Lean lean on the ball. She was fortunately they, they missed a great uh, opportunity. Jamara 
But Pepe again surging forward. Ochumba, that's well to win it. Ochumba still moving. We're trying to pick uh, the decision there from the referee. No. Chanda. Well, the issue here is that uh, the Tunisians were complaining that the ball had crossed the line, so it's going to be a, a throw in. But the assistant referee did not raise the flag. And so the ball had to go out fully. It's not like part of the ball has to go out. So they have to understand that. So you have to play by the whistle. Paquins moving forward. And it is Chanda with a chance in the ball. Chanda dress the ball back and looking for the forward run. 41% of possession over there. And uh, you can see one Pepe again moving forward. And again, there's going to be another clash of uh, players there. And the referee seeing that... Uh, there's a foul there. The goalkeeper came out, but the ball really, really bad and then moved into the ATM box. The chanda because they're coming in full the force. So, in as much as they might get injured, I think sometimes it's even more for the for the players to get hurt. Well, in your heydays, uh, Richard, you did find yourself interesting. There's been ten touches in the opposition box, and that's been the Tunisians really looking to. Yeah, the referee just gave something. And it's going to be a question to be asked. A penalty has been given to the Tunisian. That was a throw here. And this is where the referee thought it was a handball decision. Well, that's interesting here. Was she blocking the shot uh, with the arm or was she trying to uh, prevent the ball from hitting there? That's the question is going to be asked uh, here. And so there you have it again. And uh, it was a run deep in there. And, ooh. A little bit uh, contentious here, yeah, but uh, wait to see what the VAR is going to say about that. Yeah, let's wait for the VAR. It's going to be something. It came off uh, a lower party, and then it's it's still it's still contentious as to whether it really came off the hand or not. But you see the ball hitting. I think she tried, she tried, part to, of her body. She tried to take her hands away. I don't I, I don't know. Official official Maria Rivet decides that that. Uh, it's not going to be a penalty. Yeah, because she tried, she tried to take her hands away. Time, and that's a decision there. I think that was a good decision. Great. Defensive midfielder, so somebody have to break the line. That was a good stop there. Good push, Chanda. Spotting the run on the right-hand side. Another lovely ball into the ball. Chomba! From the right-hand side by Zulu. And uh, that was a chance. That was a good build. That was a good build up. That was a good one. Lovely build up. And uh, it was a moment where the uh, Copa Queens thought they were going to get a goal, but there was a good delivery from Imzozi Zulu, Queens. who has been around the national team for as far and back so as 2012. It sums up the effort for the Copa Queens. They have been resilient. They have 